Reckoner is, is a map that's like brand new to the pool for North America, but it's a map they've played in Europe for a pretty long time. So Europe and North America, obviously like TF2 is the same game no matter where you play it, but a lot of the top teams in Europe versus like North America just have different playing philosophies just because there's so few top teams, like obviously they're all going to play differently. So this is going to be like my most rough understanding of this map. I've watched a bunch of demos. I've played it a few times myself in the past couple of weeks, but I would not say that I am nearly as familiar with this map as any of the other ones. So don't take like don't take the stuff that I say for gospel right now, um, except for like the stuff that is purely grounded in fact. So, uh, first of all, the callouts. So, kind of the big important ones. We'll start at last. I think that's probably the easiest. Also, one thing I want to mention is this map is actually updated. So, excuse me, this doorway, uh, this like hallway actually didn't used to be a part of this map. So, uh, I don't think you're streaming right now. Oh, am I not? Oh, shit. Thank you. Mm -hmm. There we go. Okay. <clears throat> Alright, so, good thing I didn't say anything important. Um, yeah, so this this hallway didn't used to be part of the map in previous releases. So, for example, last season in ETF2L, they used a previous version which didn't have this. So I actually don't know what this is called. Probably like hallway or something. Um, but starting from here, you know, this is going to be it's just like right, left. So this big area is called lobby. Uh, generally, like, this is going to be left lobby, like, right lobby is going to be up there. Um, this area is called bamboo, like, shutter. This is the shutter door. Yeah. Um, but this area is called bamboo for the bamboo. This is called, like, secret or water or... I, I don't call this lower. This is secret or water, actually. Um, and then this, like, area up here, kind of specifically this door, is rollout. Um, and then moving, so I'll go over the actual roll after this. So moving over here, you have lower right, lower left, cargo, and then, uh, this room over here. So this whole area is starting, so obviously from, like, you go this way. This whole room is called toxic. Um, I think because of these barrels. So yeah, so... Then this area is called stairs. Obviously, there's stairs. And then, um, same thing, like, so this area connects to cargo. This is lower. Same thing, like, uh, this would be, like, from the same perspective as I was looking, like, lower right, lower left. But then the opposite, like, lower left, lower right. And then you have, like, the bridge, blow point, etc. I don't think... There's any like really critical callouts other than that. Um, yeah, um, that's forklift. Obviously, you can kind of call stuff what it is. So uh, it's like greenhouse, forklift, whatever. These are all like the standard kind of agreed upon calls. So the rollout, really quick. There's kind of two options that you guys have. Um, for how this works so either you're gonna go do a right side mid which involves so the old rollout used to go this way but i think it's faster to just go this way so that you go like right here you can either go through cargo and like go out that door or you can go lower and go out here it's pretty much going to be the same timing uh because like, you get to the, essentially the same place at the same time. Either way, you're on the right side. Um, I think teams go different ways just so they're mixing up which door they come through. This one's probably a little bit less safe. 
but also it gives you access to this door. Um, I'm not really sure how this all interacts, to be honest. It's a, it's a bit, like, unclear to me. Um, but then the other way that you can go is, uh, rolling out through Toxic instead. So you go from that same door, probably from Rollout, and then you go here, up through here. Another big change to this map that didn't used to be like this is, um, uh, this was, like, much narrower. It went, like, here, and it was super narrow, so you could basically not stand here. But now it's, it's like, open enough that it's okay to stand in here, and you're not gonna get completely mulched. But, um, usually this, going through Toxic, would be the left side mid. Um, seems like a key characteristic about this mid fight is, like, keeping control of these high grounds. Um... Generally, if you can have one of these high grounds and fight them here, like if they're going to be here and you're going to be here, this is a good fight for you, shooting down like this. And same thing in reverse. Um, but then you can kind of push like up to here. Like if you get here and they're like here, for example, this is not, not a bad fight for you anymore. I don't know, that's kind of unclear, but... Um, Basically, this mid just revolves around, like, keeping the high grounds at the right times. It's a rotational mid, similar to Process. Um, I think you can kind of compare Toxic to IT, and, like, uh, Cargo to Sewer, sort of. Um, if that makes sense, like, uh, I don't know, the interactions are different because there's... Obviously, much different high ground advantages versus like process and sh sunshine, other rotational mids. But uh, I think the general outline is like you're always happy to take a fight if you control this crate and they're not able to counter jump it, and vice versa. You're always happy to like counter jump their crate, and then if you have control of this, then you can take a fight anywhere pretty much on their side. Um, there's also a few different um, rollouts. Like, this map definitely rewards um, strong jumpers, especially on the demo. I'm pretty sure you can do, like, if you roll out through here, you can do a pogo, like a, an air pogo here, and then, like, surf up these stairs, and you're way fast. Like, that's something to shoot forth if you're capable of doing that on the demo class. Um, I don't know, there's lots of demo jumpers that play like AM, IM main, so I wouldn't be surprised if there were people who this was useful for. Uh, you can check out some demos. I'm sure the top, uh, like, prem demos all do the same sort of stuff. Uh, the one door I would avoid rolling out to would be this one, because it's, like, a really inefficient path. You, like, go back on yourself to come out the same place, so just way slower. Okay. What was that? Hi, Arcadia. Hi. Um, okay, so... Yeah, that's how you play the mid. So the pushes are... Honestly, like, pretty straightforward. You kind of have two options for pushing from mid to second. Actually, let's start from last. Let's talk, let's talk pushing out of last, and then we'll go... Like, in reverse. So... Okay, so generally the best way to push out of last is to keep this, uh, this high ground here. So, with your combo, I should say. So, being able to push out from this high ground, like, this is the highest high ground on the point by, like, a decent margin. You're able to shoot down at, like, every other high ground. Um, so this is like, the most advantageous position for you. Obviously, you have to be sure to clear this hallway and clear your secret um, and shutter and bamboo. So, as long as you kind of... I would recommend having a soldier... You can kind of have both soldiers. So, I'd say, like, Pocket goes down here, like, Rummer goes out here, or vice versa. Um... But just have a soldier, like, in shutter, and then, uh, 
generally you're gonna have a scout or like your demo and combo can kind of clear this this entire area and make sure there's nothing funny going on um yeah that's pretty much it there's a lot of doorways to this last so it's pretty easy to get back out i would assume um so i think for that reason i would probably not recommend pushing out of last without a serious advantage so that is kind of what I think so okay so second the way you would want to push out of here is same thing like you would go to mid um, I honestly wouldn't recommend going here because you're just gonna be lower uh, you can get spammed like pretty easily from this angle I'm like pretty far away too so i wouldn't super recommend that um this door seems fine if you can like jump through take this high ground you're gonna be okay and then same thing toxic if you push this way one thing to be aware of is like soldier bombs are pretty good through here it's really easy to land in this doorway um let me show you so even if you're just like jumping from here like, you just kind of land... Oh, that's too high. You just kind of land... Oh my god, I can't do anything right. You kind of land in, like, a very convenient location if you just come through at the right angle. So... In the case of Toxic, I would recommend, like, if you're combo pushing through here, you should try to get out of here as fast as possible and get to, like, here. Then you can take this crate with your scouts... And your demo can kind of play around here, like, take space. So, that would be pushing through here. And then, finally, uh... Or not finally, second to last. Or pushing... I think I would not super recommend... Um... Like, going lower. It's pretty disadvantageous... Because they have such good, like, high ground to spam you from here. At least, like, if you're pushing through Toxic, you can kind of get through and the door is, like, large. But the other ones have, like, so many sp spam angles. Like, this gets held really easily. This does too. So, if I were to push, I would generally put my combo through here. This is what I see all the Prem teams do. They have their demo and scout and medic go through here. Their demo is starting to trap off like here and here, like take control of this height, and then their flank pushes through toxic. And they'll just look to kind of, uh, I think you can probably, yeah, you can speed shot through here, so you can get aggro really quickly. Um, so you're not like really... As a flank especially, you know, like, the combo's gonna be slower than the flank, but the flank can just, like, get through this door really fast and contest. I don't think there's any reason to, like, stand over here, but I've noticed that this is a place that you can be. So. You can't stand on this, but you can... You can stand on this, and I think that's pretty much... Yeah, is this... Yeah, this is on limits. That stuff is all off. I think this roof is off yeah so there's not too many places to like hide on this thankfully um finally pushing last i kind of see two pushes most commonly um and that's just gonna be here so you just pop on this on like a scout demo and soldier and usually you just kind of get in here and like trap left um or you go through main and then you go left. I'm really not sure what the rationale is for going left, but I have never seen a team go right. Um, I think it's probably just as viable. Uh, it just seems like there's long sight lines, so it's like they have a lot of time to see you coming versus like when you're here, you kind of like burst in really quickly and they can't really see you. And same thing here, you can, you're kind of out of sight line until you're already like in all the way um yeah it's just not quite the same because you have to like walk through and maybe jump like that if you have like an original guy i suppose it would be okay because you can do this um 
from but, what from what I've seen of people going right, yeah, usually it's to like milk Ubers, and to like really like milk the Uber until they get onto point and then use into them from there. That seems right. That right. sounds pretty correct. I think any any like main or right, like you're gonna be fine milking the Uber. Uh, the most common sentry spots that I've seen are like here, and. Uh, like, by the spawn doors, like, here, um, and on the other side, same thing. You have, like, these boxes for nice cover, so, like, for example, a gun right here, like, can't get spammed from this door or this door, but still covers point. So, like, these are things to be aware of, and same thing with a gun here. You can have a lot of options, basically. This mid- or this, uh, point seems very good for, like, engineer and heavy. Not so much for, like, uh, Pyra. And, uh, Sniper is pretty good. You can just camp either side, and it's quite good. Um, okay, so now I can talk holding. So I'm much less confident in a lot of this stuff uh, than I am about the pushing, because I... I don't know. <laughs> I don't know how everything works on this map. Um... But generally, if you're playing passive on this last, like if they have Uber and you don't, I see teams playing back right instead of back left. Uh, you can kind of kite like all over here and like kite through spawn. So you're, you have a lot of cover here as well. Um, but then in terms of like normal holding, I normally see like the roamer play here or like on this box or on this box and then usually there's like another soldier up here or any uh, kind of around this area and then the scouts will generally off class demo is usually gonna play right he'll usually trap up here or main because of the first two pushes i mentioned that are like quite common um and then usually he'll transition to like trapping the point um and then Medic uh, usually plays right as well. Um, again, I'm not very confident in it, pretty much any of this, so I could be wrong about any and all. But these are just the impressions I get from watching some demos. So, holding on this point is not too bad. You have this nice high ground where you can basically have your demo stand here. He can control a lot of space. Your medic can play back here. Um, this hallway probably changes stuff a little bit. Uh, you probably want your flank to be like watching this a bit if you're playing passive. Uh, this is going to be like a really common spot to bust through. I always see stuff running through here in demos. Um, and then generally you can, uh, like on your other classes, it's pretty easy to leave shutter, but I could see people getting caught here pretty easily if they're not ready. Um, in terms of actually holding aggressively, a lot of the same stuff that I said before. You can stand your soldier on this high ground. This is really great. Uh, over here is really good. Um, this isn't a thing. It's like here. Would be like this probably best spam angle. Um... Okay, could you yes. flip the, the student role so he could see yes. this shit? Thank you, you're perfect. Oh, there's so many students. You're a popular mentor. Wow. Oh. You're a popular mentor, Katie. Okay. Thank you. I don't know if that's the thank thing to be thankful for, but anyway. Okay, so... Let me, uh... Pull up my stuff again. Alright, so... Holding on mid. Uh, same sort of stuff. You have these spam angles. You can play very far away. I'd recommend as medic, uh, especially your like combo, you either play out of toxic or like all the way back. So it's similar to IT. Like you either want to be outside of it or like go all the way back. Um, you can leave this way, but be aware of getting flanked from, like, this route, or from people coming under, and, like, 
jumping into you here. So that's kind of how that works. And then if you're holding aggressively, same stuff kind of re uh, applies in reverse. You want to keep this high ground. And then generally, you want to choke up. So usually flank's going to be over there and combo's going to be in here. And you can have your demo kind of take control of the store. Like It's really easy for your demo to peek this because of... There's only like a few spam angles for soldiers to really use. And if there's only like one soldier spamming, you can tank your demo and have them peek. Uh, if you're trying to get stuff to happen. Um, uh, finally, we can talk about... Okay, so second holds, uh, if you're trying to like stop them from holding out of last, or pushing out. Um, I would generally think lobby is going to be hard to hold. There's just so many doors, so many ways they can come through. This is pretty hard to hold because it's so high. So easy to jump through. Um, I, oh man, I can't jump. Um, but yeah, you can just like get through all of this door really easily. Obviously, I'm just bad at jumping. And uh, So I would recommend not holding in lobby. And instead, if you're going to be passive, I'd probably be passive over there. And then have your flank kind of stand here. You're like relatively safe because of this thing, but eventually once they really get to here, you're gonna get contested heavily, so you should. I mean, you have the space to like drop down behind here so you can jump away. So that's kind of what you should do as soldiers, like look for these sorts of high grounds. Same thing with this one, you, you can watch this and watch this, but also you have the freedom to like go jump away pretty quick from there. Um... Yeah, there's not a ton of places to hold, so this doesn't seem like a... I don't know. If you were to hold passive, I think the best spot would be... Like here, in Toxic. You can have your demo kind of peeking in the scout, and then your medic can be all the way back here. Healing at beam length. And you're pretty much in no danger, and your flank can... Generally, I don't know what I advise being down here. At least on like a soldier, you can't really spam anything at all important. But if you're up here, this is usually okay. You can kind of jump and spam these angles. It's not too bad. These are kind of like all my basic thoughts on the map. I think it's going to take at least me probably a few weeks of scrimming this map to actually understand what's going on, how it's supposed to work. So I don't know. Does anyone have any questions about any of this? Perhaps I have an answer, perhaps not. Uh, I joined a bit late, so I'm still not clear on this. Is the mid rotational or is it a center mid? Mid is rotational. Um, definitely. So there's, I talked about this before, but usually there's two rollouts. You can watch it in the VOD, but you either go right or you, and uh, through cargo or lower, or you go through toxic and go left. And then, um, it kind of revolves around these high grounds. That's the, like, TLDR. Um, is it, like, Bagel, where you kind of have to edge the point with, like, a flank scout? Or is it just a kill the other team, then cap? It's a kill the other team, then cap, definitely. This is, like, just the worst place to stand. So it's, like, you want to actually just engage in a fight before the cap actually starts. So. All right. And it's pretty, yeah, it's pretty not worth to, like, have your flank scout or pocket scout edge from lower normally. What are you going to say? Uh, I'm, I'm still struggling with the concept of rotational, because, like, if you rotate right, you kind of give them all that high ground for free and they can just meet you. Sort of. There's, it's like a double-edged sword, right? Because obviously they have this high ground, but to take the high ground, um... This makes them susceptible to being counterbombed. So, like, it's really easy for you to get soldiers aggro um, onto this crate. Uh, you can. There's not, like, great bombs, but, you know, you can jump off this and you're, like. Jump off those towers by the 
Yeah, yeah, you You're can. Lucky. Oh god, that was bad. I got stuck on the light. Um, but yeah. That's right, you can jump super high off these towers. And rotating left just kind of makes sense, because you have the high ground. Yeah, if you... If they're ever in a situation where they're just not able to counterbomb you, so for example, if their soldiers die, then you're pretty much always going to be like good to just hold the high grounds. So, I mean, don't let me fool you and say that like I have some magical great understanding of how to play I, this I, mid. I, I so, thinking, like, you come out like your combo comes out through that door, like main, right? And then well, like, either sort of either this people. you can pick either way. It's kind of weird. Like most maps have like a really set rollout, but on this you can roll out your combo to either door. Either here or here or um down here. Huh. So these are all like fine. They're all equidistant. Yeah, so this this actually is probably what makes it the most interesting or like that's one of the most interesting aspects about mid fighting on this map. Interesting. Well, thank you for answering my question. Yeah, no problem. I mean, that's pretty much all I know about this map. Is I've watched like two hours of demos today, like trying to figure out how people play this map, and I still feel like I don't have a great grasp on like what really works. But yeah, that should be enough to like get you started. At least, you know, the comms and stuff are. Pretty easy to learn. Uh, it's not too confusing as a map, I would say. I don't know. Does anyone else have any questions? Nope, I don't think so. Alright. I think I'm good. That pretty much does it, then. That's, I mean, that's all I know. I'll probably learn some more and then update, like, when the week's maps are actually... Like, in the week of Reckoner, I'll certainly be more prepared for how to play it. But yeah. Thank you. Yeah, I'll play. Thank you all for...